I'm a break dancer. It's freeze. Hey guys, back with another video. We're here in San Francisco at Chrissy Field. As you can see, the Golden Gate Bridge is right behind us. Mm -hmm. and we're about to have our first meal. Yeah, we wanted to start our day off with some bagels, so we headed to Schlock's and we got some bagels. Schlock's bagels, baby. <laughs> first time trying this spot, but we've heard good things mm -hmm. from yeah. Google. Yeah, Google <laughs> had some good reviews, I think like four and a half stars. Joseph got a classic sandwich on a salt bagel with sliced locks. I had an egg and cheese sandwich toasted on an onion bagel with no ham. Yeah, it looks like there's a caper cream cheese spread and then I got the locks instead of smoked salmon. Locks is like just cured salmon? Brined, and like salt. Oh, okay. Like pickled, I guess. But yeah, and I also got this $5 organic strawberry lemonade. Oh yeah, I think, oh, Joseph's sandwich was like $15, $15 and then mine was nine. We're not expecting New York status, but. This is mine. We're Let's hoping for the it. best. Okay. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. Have you ever had lox? Mm-mm. Me either. I always thought it was smoked salmon. I didn't know there was they were different. Yeah, I always thought they were the same too. This one's an oily one. Mm. It's very cheesy. <laughs> and the onion is potent. Mmm, this is delicious. Mm. Maybe we can do half and half. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not smoked because I hate smoked salmon, but literally tastes like sashimi style, but it's still brined, so. And like plain, so mm -hmm. like flavor. Just regular cream cheese on yours? Mm -mm. It's a caper spread. Oh, I love capers. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mine's super good too. Mine's a hearty one. Mm -hmm. I think it's like cheddar cheese, sunny side up egg. It said there was like pepper butter or something. Mm -hmm. Something like that. It's super good. Bagel is very, very soft. They say they make them every morning. They are open from 7.30 to 1 or until they sell out. So mm. get there a little early. <laughs> if you plan on coming here to Chrissy Field, come before noon because it's not crowded and it's easier to find parking. It's also a Sunday, so it isn't that that bad. Mm -hmm. Great spot to eat your lunch. And look at the Golden Gate Bridge. Lots of families, lots of dogs. Mm -hmm. Dust. Boom. You do have to pay for parking, but I think there's a bus line. So if you're up for taking the bus. Schlucks. Schlucks is doing their thing with these bagels. <laughs> you gotta try this. Try this one. Okay. It's really good. You'll like it. Oh my god, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna try this? Yeah. Just try it. Trying hers. Egg and cheese? Mm -hmm. Okay. A toasted egg and cheese. Mmm. Mm. No cream cheese on here though, huh? I guess there's no cream cheese. It's a butter, pepper butter. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can add cream cheese. If I'm having a bagel, I just need to have cream cheese. No, yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. I think too. it would have been. Slightly better, slightly elevated with some cream cheese. <laughs> this one's really good though. Never had a bagel like this. Mm -hmm. These are some bleep good bagels. <laughs> I mean, dare I say it's as good as a New York bagel? I don't know. Is it a really good bagel to have here in the Bay? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I would say. We did try some really good New York ones. We didn't try any New York bagels like with like an actual sandwich though, I feel like. We only got cream cheese when we were there, mm -hmm. which was delicious, but <clears throat> I like these. Now, oh. Wait, what do you rate it? Mm. Bagel. My bagel's really good. Yeah, your bagel is really good. So is my bagel though. This is like a nine, a nine out of 10 for just a really good bagel. <laughs> I would say, you know, mine's very simple, very simple bagel. There's no cream cheese. There's no cream cheese. Regardless of those factors, it's still like an eight and a half out of ten. Just don't go in thinking it's a New York bagel. 
Don't put those unrealistic expectations on the San Francisco bagel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna steal some of your cream cheese though. <laughs> Just trade the top. <laughs> no cream cheese bagel. Also, I'm not this short. Gabby's on a higher seat than I am. Let's try the strawberry lemonade. Five dollar lemonade for this little thing. It's good. Worth five dollars for this little thing? No. Mmm. <laughs> the onion is better though. I will say her bagel <laughs> part, the actual bagel part, is better than mine. Mm -hmm. Onion. Mandatory last bite. Cheers. Cheers. And then we're gonna go to a different place and show you guys some more food. Yes. So we had a craving for boba, so we came to this place called Boba Guys. They have locations in New York, San Francisco, and LA. So we came to the San Francisco one. I got a matcha latte with regular boba and aloe jelly. Give it a good mix. <laughs> Once you got it all mixed up, got my straw. Give it another good mix. Let's try it. Mm. Good? Yeah, aloe jelly. Oh. I love aloe jelly. So good. And their matcha is really good quality. I like it. I got a little oat milk in there too. No dairy. <laughs> <laughs> Give it like a 9 out of 10. We're aiming for 8s and ups, people. They have a lot of um, selection too, so if you don't like matcha, you can get something else. Their symbol seems to be an aardvark. Gabby thought this was an ant eater. But I'm pretty sure this is an aardvark. You, let, you guys let us know <laughs> if you know your animals. I got an ube drink with just a normal regular boba and coconut milk. So now we mix it up. Halo halo, mix mix. Not halo halo, but mine isn't mixing. <laughs> oh, is there like, we go. You it's need a slow. swirl. You need a no, swirl. No, 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 no. That's what I'm doing. Look, it's going. Now it's all purple. Magic. Wow. I don't know how to do this. I don't normally get bobas. I'm not a big fan of boba, but. Joseph's not a big fan of drinks in general. Like he water. drinks water I like only. like water and juice <laughs> and Coke Zero. It's like herby instead of ube, because ube is like a yam, but mm. a sweet yam, but it's good. That's some good boba. Mm. I give it an eight, eight flat, but that's because I don't, I'm not a big fan of boba anyway. We decided to change it up and make this more of a carry out and to go foods in San Francisco video. So you guys could eat on the go when you're in the city. Cause sometimes you don't got time to dine in. Or find parking to dine in. <laughs> or find parking. Maybe you don't want to pay for parking. Off to the next spot. Okay guys, this next spot is called The Bird. It has a little wolf or coyote pulled in a chicken sandwich. And what I got is the fried chicken sandwich for Sando. Um, still technically to go, but we're eating out in the patio area. And Got the hot chicken, pickles, looks like mayonnaise and coleslaw. Looks delicious. Gabby ordered tater tots and a chicken biscuit. <laughs> the, this looks really good. Spicy chicken sando. Let's go. Mm. I love chicken sandwiches. This is up there. This is like the eight and a half. Eight and a half for this chicken sando. My favorite chicken sandwich of all time is actually in Sacramento. Shout out to Nash and Proper. That's the best chicken sandwich of all time. Hot chicken. Mmm. It's like a sweet and hot sauce, I think, on there. It's like a sweet spiciness. Mmm. Let's try one of these. It's like a maple, maple sweetness, I think. Might be honey, might be maple. Unsure. Can't say. It is delicious. So, like Joseph said, we're at the bird. We're at the Hay Street location. I wanted some small not super hungry so I got the chicken and biscuit it's so cute and little <laughs> it's like the chick-fil-a but ten times better probably <laughs> yeah 
I think there's Dijon mustard in it. Mmm. I would like a little bit of honey. <laughs> but it is good. The biscuit's delicious. It's not dry. It's like buttery. Mm. I do like it. If I did have some honey, it would be the Chick-fil-A biscuit for me. I think biscuits are always good with honey though, so maybe they can add a little honey. Last bite of my chicken sandwich. If you do come to the bird, we do recommend to just get the chicken sandwich over the biscuit. This is a really good sandwich, especially if you get it spicy. Gabby says the spicy is really spicy, <laughs> but her tongue is very delicate. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's it for today for to-go foods. On to the next. On to the next. We're back! We're here in San Francisco Bay Area. Yes. And... <laughs> hey guys, we came to the Conservatory of Flowers. It's such a cool place. It's like a huge greenhouse. And so I'm so excited to see all the plants. It's yeah. really hot in here though. start off, we're trying bee patisserie. Bee patisserie. Bee patisserie. I'm sorry if I butcher that. I am not French. Anyways, we're here with three delicious pastries. We've got a butter cake, chocolate almond croissant, and a pan suisse, which has a vanilla custard inside. It smells so good in there. Like right when you walk by, you're like, oh yeah, this is the place. So I chose a butter cake. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a cake, main ingredient, butter. <laughs> Looks good. Mm. It tastes like um, if you guys have ever had an elephant ear. That's what it tastes like, but in cake. I've never eaten an elephant. <laughs> elephant ears, what they call those little pastries. It has like some crispy pieces, but overall it's really like soft. Is it spongy? Mm hmm. Very sweet. But. There's nothing wrong with that. For the butter cake, I give it a eight out of 10. Bee patisserie, my go-to item is the chocolate almond and banana croissant. This is my favorite thing there. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. I already know it. How to show you guys. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it'll break right, but see the chocolate, the banana mush. And the almond on top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's still your favorite thing there? Mm-hmm. This is my favorite croissant I've ever had. Mm. 10 out of 10. It's pretty legitimate. 10 out of 10, guys. Take a bite of red butter cake. It looks really good. It looks really moist. Mmm. It's like different. You've never had an elephant ear? <laughs> mm -mm. It's good. Not my kind of pastry that I'm into, but it's still really good. Thought I'd get this because it looks like a croissant too, but is I guess there's it? custard inside. Yeah, vanilla custard. I don't know what the, is that chocolate? Chocolate chips? Mm, mm hmm. Chocolate chips and vanilla custard. And like a croissant roll. It's like layered like a croissant, so nice and flaky. Very flaky, I saw all the flakes. <laughs> <laughs> Pan Suisse, if we're saying that right, 9 out of 10 for me. Chocolate, almond, banana croissant, that's a 10. And then yours is like a 7, sorry, but uh. I just like croissant flaky stuff. Mm. That was rude. Okay, so I got a coffee too. Nothing too crazy about it, it's just a coffee with oat milk and sugar, so. Latte. A latte. 
pretty good. They make good coffee over there too. I wasn't doubting it. All right, so I'm gonna try the pan suisse because Joseph hyped up the chocolate almond croissant, so I wanna um, eat that last. So I'll try this one. Mmm. Right? You're right. My butter cake. <laughs> <laughs> she went down in the rankings. <laughs> Poor girl. Yum. The custard isn't like overpowering either. Mm -mm. These it, ones are not as sweet mm -hmm. as the butter cake. The chocolate chips are really nice in there too. Okay, I agree with Joseph. I give that one a 9 out of 10 too. Now let me try this bad boy. Banana, chocolate, and almonds. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I love banana. Mm. Mm, you're right. Joseph picked some winners today. 10 out of 10. This is fire. So you want to re-rate your, uh -huh. your butter cake? Yeah. Or is that still an 8 out of 10? No. <laughs> butter cake has gone down. She's a 7. That's what I said. <laughs> I agree with Joseph. All his rankings. Pan Suisse, 9 out of 10. Banana almond croissant, 10 out of 10. Very good. Come check out this place, guys, if you're in the San Francisco area. All right. Next spot. Alright guys, so this next spot is at the Deli Board. We're actually at a park across from the spot. Sandwich spot here in San Francisco. And what I got is a Goldenberg scene, I think. Yeah. So it has corned beef, Romanian pastrami, kosher salami, minster cheese, coleslaw, Thousand Island, and it's on a French roll. So, Bama's... Bama's bleep. Bama's bleep. <laughs> Looks pretty top notch. pretty selective when it comes to sandwiches because one of my first jobs was at a sandwich spot so <laughs> he's very picky I'm very picky with my sandwiches and this is like really up there it's like almost on on level with cats in New York in my opinion yeah and it's beef salami it's kosher so if you don't eat pork come on over perfect spot for you mm. pickles he's got pickles you're all pickle Best combo. Sandwiches and pickles. We also have waffle fries that look really good, but didn't want to get too much food because we're still going to be eating for the rest of the day too. Top three sandwiches of all time for me, for sure. Mm. And beef salami? That's game changing. Kulsla? Only good on this sandwich. Not a big Kulsla fan, but amazing on here. All right, guys. Now it's my turn to take a bite out of my sandwich. I ended up getting the Rubenish, which is a Romanian pastrami, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, cherry peppers, Thousand Island, and on a French roll. Mm. Put a ton of meat on their sandwiches too. Yeah, dude, it's pot. Everything just goes well together. I don't think I've had a Reuben with um, Peppers. Peppers? But I like it. Yeah. I should have got that one. I'm a Reuben fiend. Mm. That sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is my. I it's put perfect. you on sauerkraut. It's true. Joseph did. We put sauerkraut on our Costco hot dogs. Mm, if you know, you know. <laughs> and it's all kosher, so no pork, baby. Mm-hmm. Freshly made. Fresh ingredients. Really nice customer service. Joseph took my sandwich. Took her sandwich because it has so. sauerkraut and I need a bite of sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> it's yummy. <laughs> I like it. I just love sandwiches and like we never get to have them because Joseph is so picky. So good thing we came here because I love me a good sandwich. It has to be this good <laughs> for me to go to your sandwich spot. <laughs> All right guys, so we finished our day of eating in San Francisco. It was super beautiful out. Hope you enjoyed watching us eat at some good spots in San Francisco. We had a great time and we hope you guys did too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on what you want to see next. Yep, all right, have a good day. <laughs>